So the question was, which one of these chainsaws is more powerful? Got 33cc, two cycle gas engine, and a 40 volt electric chainsaw. All right, so I'll, now I'm not gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison with the chainsaws. I've got a pretty good idea how crappy my chainsaw is. It's not that powerful. I'm constantly bogging the blade down. I have to stop. And with the electric, I was finding it almost impossible to bog that thing down. It's got some serious, serious power. So when you see the motor inside of this thing, and I am gonna take it apart, you'll understand what I'm talking about. So you guys know how I go. Um, I'm not gonna lie. If I do a review on something then, I gotta say I am kind of impressed here. This motor ain't no joke, dude. And I could feel the power of this thing. Now I, I don't have any endurance information yet or nothing like that. Really nice little cooling fan area. It doesn't cog very strongly. Like, I feel like maybe these aren't neodymium magnets. Don't really need to be. And I, and I can say this. In some applications, the neodymium magnets aren't the best because they are susceptible to heat damage, whereas the other one's got to get up to 700 degrees for the Curie temperature. Pretty impressive. It looks like it has a parallelacidic pump for the bar oil. Yeah, it's got some really fine windings. Not nothing too beefy. I mean, they're not real small, but they're not like eye popping. The power actually kicked up. You know how most motors bog down? I swear, like the more I torqued it, the more power came out of it. I kind of felt that. Well, no, we have to set this test up again. That I'm subtly impressed with what just happened. You guys couldn't see it. I'll explain it in a second. The motor was bogged down. It's like more torque came out of the machine. I'm weird. Let's we'll see if that happens again. Maybe I'm just out of my mind. Dude, <sighs> I'll tell you what, man. I have a gas chainsaw. I'm not gonna be a dork and go get a gas chainsaw and compare these two. I haven't done any endurance testing on this thing, but for just, for the home gamer, this thing would be perfect for like just cutting a limb here and there but all right here goes now i was really beating the heck out of it there all right, so I was really abusing it there. I was kind of pushing down harder than maybe I think you should, trying to bog it down. I wanted to stall the motor out, and I wasn't exactly able to do that, which is pretty impressive. It cut right through that knot, through that branch portion. The gas-powered chainsaw that I have is not that good. Now, I'm certainly not trying to sell this thing to anybody. These people send me a product, and I do an honest review it typically does not fare well for them at all. If you guys who follow me will know that. Um, so I'm not gripping. I'm, I'm really not trying to grip here. This, I am authentically impressed with the performance of this thing. So now I gotta see what the hell's running this thing. The motor looks kind of impressive. I'm seeing some gusto down there, dude. All kinds of weird stuff going on in there. Like, what the hell? So, so we're going to take this thing apart and just see what's in there real quick. I'm probably going to take a better look at this thing when it's bright outside. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning, man. I'm 
burning the midnight oil. I told these people I would do a review on this thing for them. So I'm just getting it out of the way. I got all this stuff going on. I'm trying to build burners here. Got a bunch of stuff out. So I'm gonna take this apart. I'm just sick of building burners right now, man. I'm burnt out on burners, dude. This kind of reminds me of a similar scenario I encountered out in the construction world. I used to be a carpenter and one day I picked up a cordless Dewalt Sawzall to do a repair job on something. I can't remember what it was, but I do remember I was absolutely floored, blown away at the performance of that Sawzall. A cordless Sawzall, guys, outperforms a plug-in Sawzall almost every time. Maybe it depends on the brand and there are bigger versions of Sawzalls. I get that. But just an average piece of junk, you know, and I say piece of junk because it had the old battery on it. Remember the old fat DeWalt batteries, the NICADs? Well, I can't really knock NICADs because a lot of people don't know this, but NICADs are better than lithium at high amperage applications. So maybe that's part of it. But anyway, this cordless Sawzall would blow those other Sawzalls out of the way to the point that I don't, I don't even use plug-in Sawzalls anymore. Well, I don't use them a period because I'm not a carpenter anymore, but this analogy fits perfect. This electric chainsaw is freaking insane. I'm, I'm literally blown away with the performance of this thing. I, you guys have seen my reviews. It typically does not fare well. Usually when I review a product, I'm less than impressed. Now, I don't have any durability information or nothing like that or battery life or nothing. We use one bar of battery in all of this testing, which ain't too bad. So probably a nice little home gamer um, unit. I was uh, kind of blown away by the power. That thing has more power than my freaking gas chainsaw does, which I wasn't expecting that. I don't know what I expected, and I think... The reason why I expected so little is because I've used electric chainsaws before, but it was the plug-in kind. I might even have one out there, um, but you plugged it in. And believe it or not, you can't get that much power from plugging something into the wall. I think you're limited at like one horsepower or something. So let me know what you think. How many horsepower is this electric motor? It's a pretty impressive little piece of kit. I'm not often... It this surprised, I guess you would say, that the thing performed so well. I wasn't expecting it to outperform a gas chainsaw. Uh, 